I've had some questions from people about how to justify questions on the free response part of the AP exam, asking if a sum underestimates or overestimates uh, usually an integral. Um, so I wanted to deal with that real quick. You can you can memorize this, but I honestly don't think it's worth it for the most part. Um, just just think about this kind of thing. Let's let's say you've got an increasing function, okay, and you do a left Riemann sum. Let's say you're starting. Oh, you know, that was terrible. <laughs> so let's say you do a left Riemann sum. This is actually a little bit harder to do. If you do a left Riemann sum and you have an increasing curve, notice that those rectangles are going to be under the curve, and that's going to be an underestimate. The reason being, the point you pick on the left is going to be the, you know, the lowest point in that particular interval. Okay, If you have an increasing function, and you pick your points on the right side of the interval, then you're going to end up with an overestimate because you're picking the highest point in the interval, and so those rectangles are going to stick out above the curve. Okay, and I don't memorize that, I just draw a picture of what's happening. But all you need to say is because the function is increasing and it's a left sum, it's an underestimate. Okay, you don't have to try to explain why it works or anything like that. That's kind of a known fact. Uh, same kind of thing if you had a you know a decreasing function uh, and you pick. Uh, left sum, you're going to be picking the highest points, and so as a result, your rectangles are going to stick out above the curve. So again, don't say rectangles stick out above the curve or they're under the curve. Say it's a decreasing function and a left sum, so it's going to be an overestimate. And then, you know, the, our last kind of thing here, you know, let's say you get a decreasing function and a right sum, your rectangles are going to end up being under the curve. It's not a great picture, but you get the idea, and that's going to be an underestimate. So just increasing or decreasing left or right, and uh, you should have everything covered there. Now, the other thing you could be asked, uh, you might be dealing with a function, maybe a differential equation, something like that. Um, you can also look at concavity. Okay, so let's say they give you a differential equation. and You didn't know what the, the original function looked like, but um, let's say that you knew that the second derivative was positive, okay? That means that your function is concave up, okay? So if you have a tangent line that you're using to estimate it, because the function is concave up, the function curves up and away from that line, and that means that you have uh, an underestimate because the function is concave up, and it's going to curve up and away from, from the function. Um, if your original function is concave down, okay, your second derivative is negative, then your function's doing this sort of thing. And when you draw your tangent line in there, your tangent line will be an overestimate because at that point it's concave down and that means the function is bending down and away from it. And so your line is going above it. And the interesting thing about this is uh, it doesn't matter if the function's increasing or decreasing. Uh, so that's a, well, that function was mostly increasing at that point and it was concave down. Um, I could have a function that was decreasing and concave down and we're still going to see that overestimate kind of thing here with that straight line being above the, the concave down curve. So anyway, for differential equations, you'll see this in, in probably two different areas on the AP exam. Uh, but, but be on the lookout for the second derivative, okay? Positive second derivative, concave up. That means that your trend line is going to underestimate. Um, if it's concave down, that means it's bending down in a way that means your trend line will overestimate. And once again, if you draw pictures, this is all pretty evident. I'm not sure it's something I really memorize. I just make a sketch. And I see which one it does. Uh, but that's all you're going to need to do. You just say, you know, because F prime, F double prime is positive, uh, you know, the curve is concave up and therefore the trend line will underestimate. That's the kind of thing you need for the explanation.